Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. What a crazy day it was yesterday. The price absolutely plummeted and then bounced straight back up within the space of a few hours. What, what a crazy day. And, and some altcoins got absolutely ripped. And we looked at some assets yesterday. I did that video, altcoins are dumping. And some of those levels actually got hit. So we'll take a look at them and we'll also take a look at some other levels. But it was the day of the CPI. And it was actually forecast to come out at around 8.1%. It actually came out at 8.2%, which is still... 0.1% down on the previous month. So it is a decline, not much, but it's not as much as a decline as the market was expecting. And that's why you saw a, um, a bit of a sell-off in the market. And this is the Bitcoin chart. If we go down to the hourly time frame and have a bit of a zoom in, CPI came out, bang, went all the way down here. And I think every man and his dog was shouting 10K. And then a couple hours later, boom, look at that little candle that we formed there. And then we just continue pushing up. Last night, uh, that was about my bedtime. I'm, a, I'm an early sleeper, and we, we pumped through this um, through the evening. We have started to come back down a little bit now, which we'd expect. I mean, any type of move like this, you would tend to see a little bit of a pullback, and, and that's what's happening now. We come up towards this level of resistance too, and if we zoom out, you can see that is a range where a lot of that um, price action has been rejecting off at some stage. So. Let's have a look at some altcoins. On yesterday's video, we looked at Metis. I said, look, if you're looking for some buys, this green box is a decent area to buy. It did come down to area and it has bounced on there. Obviously, we did go lower and we actually come down towards the 786 region. So those buys, if you watch the video, they will have come in. Polkadot, I'm saying it same again. What did I say on Polkadot? Let's just have a zoom out on the daily. Wow, look at that wick there. Look how it went down to 569. I'm not sure. I think I mentioned about this over down here at 4.52. So that came nowhere near it. But I said, look, we've not been down towards these regions for coming up to two years now. So uh, I didn't call that one. But I said, look, I mean, price, if it did continue to come down, would have gone to 4.55. And I did talk about Ethereum. I said this level here. I said, look, any price action... Um, has been bouncing off that 1275 region. We did wick below it, obviously, and that may potentially have taken some stops out, but we still didn't get that closure below that line. That shows a major, major level of strength at 1275, and we have reacted quite well off that. Horrible wick to the upside. I, I can imagine quite a few shorts got taken out. Boy, it is what it is, isn't it? That's the markets for you. So we'll take a look at a few different assets today. Um, somebody mentioned Solana, so we'll start with that. Let's have a quick look on the soul chart. And I'll probably use the Binance chart. There we go. So Solana's 3132, like most of our assets, we did get that drop to the downside and we bounced off 2783. We're currently at 3132 in terms of dollar cost price. And a couple of things to note here. Look at these wicks. Every time we come down towards this region previously, we did bounce, so it just show a clear level of demand. And you can see here, if we just move this horizontal array up towards um, towards the bottom of that move, we did get a few deviations below, but you're getting several wicks that are bouncing off that range. And then down here, bounce off that. I mean, we didn't quite get there, did we? Um, but we have bounced, we reacted quite well. And again, if you're looking at this region here, we're getting no closures below that range. So that is a good sign as well. And that is showing that we have got some strength at $30. It's a psychological area. If you manage to pick some up below, then, then happy days. But I think if you're looking for some buyers on this, and it is just that relief bounce from what happened yesterday, because remember, we're still in a downtrend. If the downtrend did continue, then you're still going to look at buyers down towards that 2635 region and selling and selling pressure is definitely here. This is the high of the range here. Uh, and that will be sales at around 46. It looks quite far away, that. I mean, from current prices here up to there, you're talking a 47% move, but it just takes a little switch in the market for things to start flipping bullish on the lower time frames. And you'll see some significant moves. I mean, I've been looking at plenty of assets that I've done between 60 and 200% moves during the last two months. It always is ground for assets to pump no matter what the circumstances are globally so some assets will do well some assets won't and and that's the way it is and and i think solana has that potential push up there if they sort the network out i mean what's going on there but um let's not talk about that so yeah buyers down here at around 26.32 sells up here at 46.50 i think that's a decent level for his target and if we do break above there then you are looking at around 57.95 but um i think that's a little of a while off yet 
Next, I don't usually cover meme tokens. I know people are probably going to hammer me with saying that because there's utility on Machine Network now. Um, and same with Doge. I mean, there's utility there, but they are a king of uh, meme tokens. And what's going on here in terms of Sheep? I've had a few people ask me talking, to talk about it, and this is the level here. You can see it's a clear major level support where we use it as support and resistance back in um, 2021. We come back down, retested it in June when we had that major dump when Tesla um, shipped the bed for us, and then ever since then. We actually seen a little bit of a decent rise. If you're taking the bottom there up to the top, we did 158% move. That's what I'm talking about. You still get a chance to see these major moves to the upside on some other assets. But we have sold off, and uh, currently we bounced off this region here at around, let's call that 0.922. I'm not going to read all them zeros because I'll be here all week. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for buys, I think that is a decent region there. Um, there, look at that. Let's just put the, um, the dotted line on because you'll see it a bit better. If you look at all these levels throughout here, you can see bounce, 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 bounce. So that is a region down there, and that's called 984. That's a decent region. I think if we did lose this, and uh, as you can see, we've got no daily closures below that level of support. If you got one closure below here, then it will come down and retest that 707 region. So if you're looking for some buys and you're a SHIB holder, then just pay, be patient and see if the price does come down to 707. It's been a clear area of support in the past. So that's somewhere where the price could react. But any type of bullish price action, you need to get above this wick here, which is coordinated with that wick there. And we'll just put that on as well. So look at that there. It's a clear level of resistance. We've got no closures above it. We've got a wick on it. And that's up at around 1700. So that's uh, point zero 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 one seven hundred. So like I say, I'm not reading all them zeros. But yeah. You could say that's the high of the range too. This is the lower range down here. And if you're looking for any trade in a central point, and if you're wanting to trade this asset, look at those between levels there. I mean, if, if for any bullish price action, you need to get back above 1, 200. Once it gets above 1,200, then you are going to push up and hopefully look to take some profit at that Pico um, up there at that, that 1,700 level I've talked about in the past. Right, what else do we need to cover today? I've mentioned Zillica on my previous video. Um, let's take a quick look at a mega, mega low cap. I mean, I've tweeted about this. Oh, I tweeted it back on the 8th of October. I said, look, I'm buying some of this Bassan. It's a DeFi platform. It's a DeFi tool which incorporates everything with inside the DAP. We've actually just pushed out a... Um, an instant buy and sell via Uniswap within the DAP as well, which is a cool idea. So an asset I bought, it's an asset I actually quite like. Um, and yeah, I mean, I bought down here. If you're looking to buy any of this, probably wait for a little bit of a pullback, to be honest. I've mentioned this level here of resistance, which we did break through. I think if you're looking for buys, I would wait for her. That's 0 0.03. Um, and if you get that opportunity, then I think it could be a good buy. It's very, very early. I mean, if you look at the market cap, it's only $469,000, which is which is crazy low. And there's not a ton of wallet holders yet, so check it out. I'm not gonna say um, buy it, but just at least check it out. I've bought some, um, but just remember, manage your risk accordingly. Um, looking at, not Twitter, <laughs> back to the chart. So yeah, let's have a look at some other assets. We'll probably look at one more. Um, which one shall we cover today? Let's have a look at Link, I mean, Link is one of those assets which is fundamentally strong, but it's an asset I've never invested in. It's, it actually annoyed me quite significantly. Towards the beginning of last year when um, I saw a lot of team wallets dumping $500 million worth of tokens every so often, but the tech speaks for itself. A lot of people are starting to to use this technology and incorporate it into their blockchains. And yeah, we've been up to $50, 53 to be honest, I thought we are going to go a lot, a lot higher. Um, because it was in a major bull market and it had major tech, but maybe that, that selling pressure from the team did keep it down. We are now in a consolidation period, and you can see this is the area where the price is pretty much stuck. Like most assets, we are in a range now, and we are using previous levels here as support. It's not quite, but very well, very bounce. Keep bouncing off $5.90. I think every time we get a bounce down there, it is reacting. And same again yesterday, we we lost that. Look at that. It's going to be a great hammer candle if that finishes off today. Yeah, I mean, if if you're looking for buys, I'd still target down here because this is the region where it bounces all the time. It's a major level support there. 
every time wicks come down, they get gobbled up on push up. So anywhere between five, six dollars, I think is a great buy. And then if you're looking for sales, this is a first major level spread. In fact, this is this is the higher range, isn't it? Here, if you look at these two wicks, which were rejected at nine fifty eight. And going in towards that ten dollar range region is a psychological area. So yeah, that's an area to sell there. I think it could be a decent profit taking opportunity if you're looking to to potentially buy it down at this region and sell at the top. You're talking a fifty seven percent move. I mean, if you're looking to to buy at this region here where we're currently at, and you still got a thirty percent move if the price does push up towards those those range highs. So above that, you've got a move up to eleven dollars, and then beyond that, you're probably looking up to to the top of around eighteen dollars, but it's a long way off. I'm not going to get too bullish because we're still in horrific market periods. But I can't help myself sometimes. I just fucking prefer to be bullish. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. We've we've covered about five assets there. Um, a little bit of a different video today, just covering some random assets. Next week, I will start putting tweets out asking for more recommendations from yourself. So if you if you want me to cover a certain asset. Follow me on Twitter, it's at OpCryptoUK. You'll find my link in the, the description of this video in my link tree. And comment on that. Follow me over there. Interact if you've got anything to say. Um, or if you think I'm talking bullshit, why not have a comment and uh, let's have a bit of banter. But that's it. That's the video for today. If you are new here, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and I'll catch you next time.